Hey y'all, so I got an IV. It looked like it's trying to come out, but the way the tape is on there, it's kind of like pushing it out. Then it got this like little stat lock on there that's like pulling it out. I'm like, child, let me try to fix this IV. Let me see. I'm looking for some tape in here. Not the tape right here, but the tape that I hope is right here. Okay, this is the IV stuff, so where the tape? Y'all know what I'm talking about? The little, cute, the little view guard, child. That's what I'm looking for. I'm about to go to my regular floor and find me one. See, I see some some IV stuff. I don't see any view guards. Child, this is tape. Oh, here we go. Some view guards. Okay. Let's go see what we can do. Okay. Hey, y'all. So, I'm... Um, on a different unit tonight. Oh Lord, I've been doing squats. My legs are sore. I'm looking for some EKG leads. Oh, here they go. That ain't a thing. When you go to those different floors, that everybody um supply closet is set up different. Okay, so we got some batteries. Okay, energizer up in the hospital. And some electro. So I already grabbed everything else I need. I gotta, hey, I gotta new admit it like midnight. So I'm just getting them together so they can be chill for the rest of the night. I already checked on everybody else. So right now I'm just about to finish putting hooking these up to my patient. And then I think I should be, I gotta do my midnight charting. And then after that, I'm gonna take me a little Brizek. Hey y'all, editing Brandy. So it had been a while since I recorded this video and now I'm just now editing it. Neither here nor there, but I believe this night my new admission had um, IV potassium they were getting because their potassium was low and it was very irritating to the vein. Like the guy just kept saying it was like burning, it was hurting, it was burning. So I think we slowed down the rate. It was still hurting him. Um, and then eventually I was like talking to some of the nurses on the unit and somebody was like, why don't you wide tube it? Like get an order, don't get it wide tubed. So basically um, you'll have the IV channel. This is for people that don't know, cause I didn't know. You had an IV, then you got the channel that you can add to the IV machine. So one channel has your potassium going and then you add another channel on the side of it and you have some normal saline running. So you go ahead and you run the normal saline into the IV, to the patient's IV. And then you take the, the potassium and you you run it through the channel, like as if you're doing a primary line on both of them, run it as primary. And then you take the potassium and you just wide tube it, meaning the tube that's coming from the normal saline to the patient, there's gonna be like a little hub. The tubing that's closest to the patient is gonna be a little hub on the tubing that you can add another IV to and run fluids at the same time. So you can run the normal saline and the potassium at the same time. On my unit, on my floor in my hospital, they call it wide tubing. I don't know if that's a saying everywhere, y'all let me know. But you run both of them at the same time and that way like the potassium is somewhat, I guess, diluted or diluted by the normal saline. That way the patient is still getting the potassium 
without um, the irritation of just plain potassium going into their veins. So some people are very sensitive to potassium, which I didn't know at the time, um, but yeah. So that's what I ended up having to do that night. Um, yeah, I like going to different units, working with different people, having different situations with patients because that's just how you learn the skills. So going from nursing home to the hospital, these are some skills that I'm learning. So let me know. Um, any other little tips or tricks that y'all have, some things that y'all may have learned from going, transitioning from long-term care to the hospital, if that's been something that you've done. And yeah, so yeah, I hope you all enjoy the rest of the video. Bye. So while on the other unit, I saw this list of nursing specialties and I wanted to put it on here so you all can maybe screenshot it and get an idea of what you can get certified in and like different specialties you can work in as a nurse. Um, I think, <clears throat> I'm not really sure if employers really care about this or this is something they look for, but I think maybe as you do get into more specialized specialties that it does help you like critical care registered nurse CCRN that certification is a big deal especially if you want to become a CRNA um, a certified registered nurse anesthetist is that the same or or DMP whatever basically a nurse anesthetist is something that you should definitely have um, the school some schools require it some schools don't but it might be the thing that kind of gives you a little level up uh let's see um, med surge nursing certification technically I think I, I'm up for being able to do that maybe i don't know i think you have to work typically with these certifications they want you to work on a unit for at least like two years i think you have to have a certain amount of hours worked to get certifications some of them so i can do a full video um talking about nursing certifications what some of the requirements are the benefits of them the costs one of the benefits i would definitely say is that your employer may pay for you to get these certifications they could pay for you to take the course and then pay for the actual certification so keep that in mind use these employees i mean there's benefits to working for others and if that's something that they have at your job definitely find out definitely take advantage of it especially if you qualify you know if not it's something you can work towards and I think having different certifications as well as just continue education, all of that just makes you a stronger nurse. It helps you to stay, I think, more motivated and active within your role as a nurse because you're constantly looking to improve on your skill set to learn more about the industry and, you know, standards of care and things like that. Uh, you know, remember, we are professionals and we can continue to learn and grow in this field and get more knowledge um, as well as more, you know, qualifications under our belt. Just take it to your advantage. Your RN license, you can do a lot with it and you can learn so much. I'm sure this list of certifications is probably just a fraction of what you can have as a nurse. And it just shows how much that two year degree can really get us like we can go forward with just a two-year degree as a nurse so let me know as anybody else out there um, considering doing some nursing certifications do you have any certifications as a nurse outside of like you know bsl or bls bsl child bls <laughs> basic life support um i know a lot of people get pals the pediatric um life support and then I've heard of the CCRNA, I've heard of the med surge certification, and then I think like wound nurse certification, is that on here? I don't, I would have to look at everything. Um, of course, all of the the OB, I'm going to ask my friend who's in OB if she's had any of these certifications or tried to get any uh, psych nurse mental health certification. So yeah, there's a lot and let me know, have you all done it? You thinking about doing it? Do you feel like it's beneficial for you to do it? and let me know if you want to see another video any questions you have about it but yeah enjoy the rest of the video it's time to go i'm going it's time it's time to go i'm going it's time i said it's time to go i'm going it's time it's time to go i'm going it's time okay yeah i've been working 12 plus hours and I still brought my black ass up to Walmart to the Walmart 
because I want some biscuits and a gravy. And I ain't about to pay nobody to make it. I went to Walmart, spent a hundred dollars. Was not trying to spend a hundred dollars. I really But I got some stuff for the house. Got some stuff for my kids' lunch. And they having a little party at my kids' school, so I got some little stuff for the party. We done. We done. We done for the day. It's time to go. And my glutes and hamstrings still hurt from like a workout I did like four days ago. My glutes are still sore. If I could travel, it's time to go home. If I could it's time to go home.